I'm back again. I'm here to do a new update on my Camaro. I've been installing a sound system on it. I ran with the ground shaker 16 to 17 Camaro box. Um, it fits pretty good. I mean, it probably could have been a little taller, but all in all, it still fits really good. It's apparently big enough for the sub. It says it's 1.96 cubes um, of usable airspace and minus the 0.14 for the speaker. So from what I read, I'm pretty sure it says that you can have like, there's varying, I mean, everybody varies it. Some say you can use up to 2.5 cubes, but it says anywhere from 1.8 to two. So I'm a little over 1.8. So, I mean, and it rocks, it's loud. If you play rap songs on it, it is so, <laughs> I mean, the, pick the right song, don't get me wrong, but once you do, it will, it sounds like the car is gonna come undone with this SA-12. It's an SA-12 4 ohm. I mean, it is loud. It's still brand new. It's still breaking in and everything. I ran a junction right here for... Just so if I go on a long trip or something, I can take the box off if I need to and don't have to really tamper with anything else. Just quick disconnects and... I ran the amp and everything under here so you can't see anything um, ran with the kicker CXA 1200.1 I know you don't actually need a line out converter but um, I tried it I got the setup the KISL um, RCA connectors and I can, it won't turn on the amp so I went ahead and ran with this line out converter instead of using like an LCI 7 or LCI 2 or whatever um, I just ran with this it allows me to do everything I can do um, as far as like I tried tapping in, it says it's tapping in the front left, the front right channels, but um, I've seen everybody tap them into the rear, so I went ahead and ran them to the rear. Um, either which way, I'm not getting the amount of voltage the instruction says to tune it to, so I ran a 40 hertz test tone through it all, set it up to about, I want to say 0.25 at three quarters volume. And then when I actually play a song, it'll run at about 0 0.6667 at three quarters volume. Um, but all in all, I mean, it came out pretty nice. It's the LP72. Um, I did run into a little issue I've been seeing online. You will have to disconnect this connector for the time being, unless you want to get a, I think it's sub thump. Uh, Bose noise cancellation delete harness and it will allow you to plug it right in and it deletes the microphones and the door panels I'm just going to go ahead and buy that I ain't pulling door panels to do that so it's like $26 I'm going to order it and get it put in there because if you don't when you drive down the road and it picks up that exhaust note it messes with your sub pretty good so I just unplugged it I still got turn signal clickers and I mean, everything seems to work so far. I just, I think it's just pretty, pretty much disconnecting the front mics from the doors. But try to keep it as nice and neat as possible. I will have to redo all this. This board will end up going and stuff. I'll figure out something to make it look really nice. But um, I ran it right up here. I mean, everything's pretty clean looking. I try to keep it as clean as I could. I ran everything right up under the panels. I'd remove all the panels, all this panel, the rear panel, the plastic cover, our back seat. You have to remove it all. Um, once you get it all out, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just run this to chassis ground right up in there. I mean, there's a chassis ground right under here. And just run this to your battery post. Um, your positive battery post for your positive cable. And... That's pretty much it. I mean, I can't really run a sound test video at the moment because as soon as I turn my infotainment system on, my iPhone goes straight to it and it cuts my video off. So I will upload a new video as soon as I can get my songs onto like a little USB drive or something. I'll 
have a new update of some actual sound coming from it, but I mean, it's it's intense. It, I mean, I don't know what I'd be hitting DB wise, but I mean, it is loud inside. It shakes your hat, your hair. I mean, it's, I am very, very impressed with the Sundown SA-12. I've heard nothing but good reviews out of them. Um, couldn't find anyone, couldn't find anyone that sold them locally. I had ordered online. I ordered it from downforsoundshop.com. A shout out to him. Um, they sent me the wrong speaker. They sent me an E12. Um, they took care of me right away. I mean, customer service was quick. I mean, as soon as I sent an email to them, letting them know, they responded like within 15, 20 minutes, letting me know they're going to send a new speaker out. Um, they sent me a new, uh, well, a, a t shirt with a new speaker. Took it right back. No problems. I mean, it is loud. I like this setup. I, I've ran 12s before. I've had up to three 12s. I used to run a um, Soundstream Rubicon, I'm going to say 502. This is a long time ago. I can't remember the actual. I think it's a 502. But I had three Soundstream Rubicons and an old Firebird I had. And this, my friends, is louder than that. Like, I don't even know how, but it is. I mean, it's this sundown and it sounds good i mean it's accurate it hits bass notes i mean it's it's good for a sq system i mean if you want a real sound quality system i mean it hits it hits good it's i mean i compare it to jl i've heard a bunch of i mean i've heard new w7s but as far as w6s go everybody had w6s back in the day and this is just as loud i mean when it does it it's stored up right now, but when it does it, I mean, the top jumps, I mean, the window is flexing. You put on like a Wiz Khalifa song. Um, I can't remember what song it was I was playing on there earlier, but I mean, this window is like, rah, rah, rah. Yeah, it's it's pretty intense. I was pretty impressed with that one sundown. They, everybody kept saying it, it's gonna be loud. And that's this is all I need. All I need is gonna be to put a converter, or not a converter, a um, capacitor in, and I'll be happy. But we will be back with another upload of an actual sound video of me playing. Now put a rag here or something. Let you. I mean, it moves the rag. It moves good. Like I'm impressed. It kind of scares me. I don't want to rattle the car apart considering that they're talking about discontinuing Camaros in 2023, which kind of a bummer if you ask me. I mean, I thought they were, I see Mustangs everywhere around here. I don't, I don't see nothing about discontinuing Mustangs, but I don't know, I'm a Chevy guy for life. But thank you for watching, I'll upload another one. Thank you.